I want to let you in on a little secret, if you will. You Maybe you don't notice, notice this about me, maybe you do, but I am an introvert. This means that I don't feel comfortable when I do something socially before I feel like it's the appropriate thing to do. If I'm making a sale, uh, I want to make sure that the person is interested before I try to close them. If I talk to somebody, it's really important for me to know that he's actually listening and interested. It's not that I get offended if he's not. It's not that I get offended if my potential buyer you know, doesn't want my product. But what really screws me over is not getting validation. Now, what does this mean? When I'm in a social situation and there is a group of people talking, I don't feel comfortable coming up, bam, just interrupting them and being that charismatic guy that just starts talking to everybody. So I do something simple. I take the obscurity, you could call it the ambiguity, you could call it the question, you know, do they want to hear me talk? Would it be okay if I butt up and just, you know, become the dominant guy? So I'll walk up to the group and I'll tell them, hey guys, um, I have something to say. Do you want to, do you want to hear? And they might say, yeah. So, so, okay, everybody wants to hear? Yeah. Bam. I'll go into it because now I got the validation to keep going. If I'm making a sale, again, I have to talk to the client either until he asks me, okay, you know, how do we move forward? This is fucking awesome. Or until I ask him, so what do you think about, you know, what we talked about so far? Would you like to see the next phase? Would you like to know more about working with me? And if he says, oh yeah, of course, then I'll be, okay, awesome. Let's, you know, I'll be highly enthusiastic. If he says, um, okay, then I'll tell him what's, you know, what's, what's on your mind? What's the problem? Why, why aren't you like, you know, fuck yeah, let's go for it. You know, let me know. I want to know about it. If I'm doing a lecture, I'll stand in front of the audience. I'll ask, you know, hey guys, are you excited? Are you happy to be here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody wants to hear about self-improvement. Yeah, yeah. Let's say I want to sell something at the end. Maybe I want to uh, sell my my coaching at the end. I, I don't feel comfortable going to into a pitch without making sure people are interested because I don't want to waste their time. So I have, as an introvert, I have a very high sensitivity sensitivity, sorry, to other people's time and energy and, and money. I don't want to take value ever. I just want to give and give and give. Now, this doesn't mean, you know, I, I thought it means in the past that, you know, I, I'm just a sucker. You know, I just give and give and give and I never get. But the only reason I never got is because I missed the transition of uh, the question. Well, uh, would you like to hear more? Would you like to know about you know, what I offer. Are you interested? Does this sound good? Does uh, paying me $2,000 to get coached sound good to you? Yes. Uh, maybe the guy says, oh, I think so. Okay, what's, what's, why, is it, why isn't it, uh, yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, it's uh, because I'm not sure about, oh, awesome, let's fix it, you know, let's talk about it. Um, I'm not sure about this. Okay, awesome, awesome, let's fix it. So I'm always... Um, providing myself with validation and the mistake that introverts make what keeps them introverted is the fact that they don't ask the questions so you know you have a, a situation you know maybe you talk to your mom and she's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or maybe a friend mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you're not sure anymore if they're listening. You know, you're telling a story or something. You're not sure if they're listening. But you're like, oh, I'm not sure if he's listening. So now, instead of being charismatic, bam, you go down. 
you suppress yourself because again, intuitively, you're like, you know, I don't want to waste time. I don't want to waste value. So I'm, I'm going to suppress myself. You, you get like the handbrake is going up. You get blocked. So what I do in this situation, I'll just straight up ask like, hey, you know, does the story interest you? Do you want to hear more? And they, they'll be like, oh, yeah, of course. And even if they say, oh, no, it's actually not that interesting. I'm not going to take it personally. I'm not going to be like, oh, no. Well, fuck you. I'm going to be like, oh, okay, cool. Um, do you want to talk about something else? Or, you know, why? maybe tell me why it wasn't interesting so I can know it for the future. Was it my delivery? Was it just you not being interested? I can actually do something with it. So it doesn't matter if I get a good reaction or a bad reaction, you know. I, you know, I come up to a group. I'm like, hey, guys, you want to hear a story I, I have to tell? Um, it doesn't matter if I get a good reaction or if they say, like, no, because <laughs> at least... I, I got something definitive. So again, you're introverted because you're not willing to confront the things that you're uh, obscure about, you know, that you're ambiguous about, that you're unsure about. And until you confront them, you won't really know if you're taking value because you're not, again, entertaining, you're not really doing what you should do or if you're doing the right thing. So you'll just be stuck in this half in half out thing and you won't be charismatic you won't be engaging you won't be passionate you won't be energetic you'll sound like forced like when you tell your story you know you'll be like uh yeah this like do you like it do you like it this do you like it do you like it it's gonna suck or when you do your presentation when you want to sell in front of a an audience or in front of your uh, one potential client, but you're not sure if they want it yet. You know, you're going to the closing already. Uh, you're like, uh, you know, yeah, the product is uh, this and it has um, that. And, uh, and in your head, you're like, oh, fuck, I don't know if he likes this. So the, the secret for me and to you too is thriving. So sorry for the misleading title because it's not surviving. It's fucking thriving. But I needed something to get you to watch is to confront the scary shit, scary stuff, to validate it, ask the questions. So anytime I feel introverted, um, I know intuitively why I'm introverted. Again, it could be lecturing because I'm, I'm afraid to sell. Maybe I'm afraid my topic isn't interesting. Maybe I'm afraid uh, the video isn't interesting. Maybe I'm afraid I'm doing the workout wrong. Maybe I'm afraid the guy I'm, I'm talking to isn't interested. Maybe I'm afraid the group I want to talk to uh, isn't really open to me just interrupting. But I'm always, I'm always confident to validate because, you know, even though I'm not confident to, uh, let's say, you know, on, I go on a coaching call uh, first time with uh, somebody for the first time, I won't feel confident to just try and sell. Sorry. I, I, I'd like to know first that he's interested, that I can help him. Cause, you know, some people are not like that. Some people just don't have that thing. And, you know, that's fine. But there's, a, there's advantages to being introverted as well. Because, again, when you're introverted, you're more precise. So when you do find somebody who is a good fit for you, you're going to be like a sniper and just bam, just ja jump on it. Because you're so uh, picky and so, you know, well attuned to the other person that when you do find the right person again you have that ability to just like like a like a pit bull just bam just bite and don't let go and apply massive pressure but it, it never feels like you know negative pressure because the, the person intuitively feels that you deeply care about their well-being which is actually true uh, because people who are introverted like me they, we don't care about the money as much as we care about the value so first of all you know matt money great i love money but if I give if I gave value, I don't want to give money for nothing. I won't. I, I won't. I don't want it. <laughs> I won't feel good about it. Like I had so many clients that I could have worked with, but I just told them no. Like I'm not going to work with you because I don't think it's a good fit. You know. And they're like, oh, thank you. You know. And they actually appreciate it because I, I just gave them the, the the blunt answer. Like, hey, dude, I'm not the perfect match for you. You should go with this guy. You should do this. So uh, introverts actually have again an advantage in that because. You can actually control uh, your energy. 
But again, the, the, you have to be able to confront the scary stuff. You have to be able to validate it. So whenever you get introverted, then again, you're not a born introvert and you're just stuck that way. It's just like people with ADHD with, you know, they, they, people tell them in school like, oh, you can't concentrate, you know, you have an attention deficiency. It's like, you know, when they find something that's interesting to them, that they find valuable, they can definitely focus, you know, for hours, for 10 hours straight. But, you know, maybe the problem isn't with them, it's the school that's not interesting enough or that's not, they don't feel like it has what they need. You know, it, it doesn't really spice the, what they feel inside so that they get passionate about it and really want to study hard. So what I'm trying to say is, you don't have any problem. Stop trying to fix yourself. Stop trying to be confident in spite of being introverted. You're not an introvert. You're simply more picky with your value. So you only want to give value. You want to make sure you never take value. You're very, you have hypersensitivity to that, to that. Just like people with attention deficiency simply have an extremely uh, precise and, and picky attention span because they, they can only focus on things that they know to a very deep degree that will actually provide them with value. You know, by that definition, I'm extremely uh, with, you know, ADHD because I can't focus on anything <laughs> that I don't find interesting or, or valuable. But, you know, I think that's a skill. <laughs> I don't think that's like a disadvantage. So same with my intro introvertedness. I don't find that like a deficiency, like, oh, I'm, you know, not like the other people who would just be outgoing automatically or just make a sale, just bam, just go for it without knowing the person. I find that as my characteristics, part of my unique setup, one of my advantages, because when I do find people that are good for me, I close them like a motherfucker, like they're not going to go away and they're going to be happy that I close them. It's not like they, they're like, they don't enjoy it. They, they love it because it's like, we and I are going to change the fucking world. <laughs> So I hope this gave you a lot, a lot of hope. Um, what's the other words? Clarity, guidance, understanding of how to actually use the um, introvertedness and how to actually control it and use it to your advantage. Why it's a gift. Why you're okay, why you're not fucked up. Everything is perfect with you. If you're an introvert and this video helped you, please let me know in the comments because I appreciate it so much. It really, really does wonders uh, to my, you know, happiness to see, that, you know, how much I can help. And um, so let me know. And if you need personal help, please contact me by email. You know, let me know you need my help. I'd love to give you a free coaching session. I can answer your questions via email. You know, we can do anything pretty much. So... Thanks again, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Let me know if this helps you. And um, I have one last video today, the fifth video. So I'll see you soon.